we produce the technology because there's a lack of real-time accurate data. So people don't, even though they might do an audit and think that's what's over there in the yard, it's not true and it changes quite rapidly and so um, the technology gives a real-time truthful uh, measure of where things are and it allows people to manage imbalances and things like that so um, and it changes relationships between suppliers, ground handlers etc because now we're looking at it in real time not having an argument a week later as to why something didn't happen. So this is really putting in a baseline of uh, accurate information in a timely fashion. And apart from where is my stuff in, in terms of pallets, containers, it also allows the airline to provide not only dot on map tracking but dot on map tracking of their customer shipments and utilization of equipment. Ultimately, I can see this reducing the need for more equipment because they know where their equipment is. The airline does not have, does not have a loss of the equipment. The airline uh, does not need to purchase new equipment because they are getting better utilization. I think the thing, other thing is by associating freight with a tracked object, the only tracked object we've got at the moment in cargo, that allows carriers to talk to their customers about where their freight is. So at the moment, this is effectively the only tracked object in the system and therefore if you can associate freight with it you can track freight which is even more powerful.